Hello, Ace, and welcome to week three. Man, by the time we wrap up schoolwork for this week, we will have already completed our first month back at ACE. And I, for one, am very proud at how we have handled distance learning. I know there's been a lot of questions and adjustments, but you guys are rock stars. You always are. And so for me, thank you so much for that. We're going to dive right into character assembly this morning. So if you want to go ahead and stand with me, I'm not going to stand, but you can. <laughs> And to put me out of the picture, we can't do that. Uh, put our hands over our hearts and say the Pledge of Allegiance with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, now you might want to stay standing. Typically, when we have week three character assemblies and we're about to uh, recite our character trait for the month. Those who already have it memorized and are feeling confident actually face their backs to the stage, face their backs to me. So they're not looking at the screen and they test themselves on how well they have memorized punctuality and the I will. So if you want to go ahead and spin around and not face your computer screen to see how you're doing, we're going to go ahead and recite punctuality together. Punctuality is showing esteem for other people and their time. I will be at the right place at the right time. I will prepare for unexpected delays. I will do my work ahead of time. I will plan a daily schedule and keep it. And I will not fall into the trap of just one more. Okay, guys, how'd you do? Time to turn around, have a seat, and let's actually wrap up our discussion this month about punctuality. And I'm gonna finish with how I normally start a month. <laughs> you know, I normally start by going over the definition and really diving deep into that. And I know the last couple of weeks as we're getting used to distance learning and some of the unique things there, I have focused more on the I wills and some practical steps that we can take at home to kind of build success in our daily routines. But guys, when it comes to punctuality, this definition is fabulous and it really does get to the heart of why punctuality is important. It is about our personal success. It is about us getting some things done and making sure that we're on track. But the heart of it is that punctuality really is about how we respect and show respect to the people in our lives. I moved the quote for this week up um, because I ran across this one and it just seemed to match our definition or kind of explain it so very well. It said arriving late, or we could say completing a task late as well. So arriving late is a way of saying that our own time is more valuable than the time of the one who waited for you. Let me say that again, and I really want you to think about this. So arriving late is a way of saying that your time is more valuable than the time of the one who waited for you. When it comes down to it, punctuality, this character trait that we're studying is all about people. It's about how we relate to people, how we support each other. And believe it or not, this is actually one of the traits that we appreciate more than anything in other people. We appreciate it in family. We look for it in our friends. We want someone to show up for us. We want somebody to be there, right? In coworkers, group, uh, working on group projects, some of you, <clears throat> excuse me, will have group projects coming up in classes. And if one person isn't pulling their weight or not doing something, then it really does impact the rest of the group, right? We look for this in teammates. Pretty much throughout life, in any relationship that we have, punctuality and the ability to show up at the time and be there for somebody and making sure we're pulling our weight in things is one of the most valuable traits that we can demonstrate to show that we care about the other person, right? I actually think it's a lot like dominoes. I don't know if you guys have um, ever played with dominoes or set them up in those elaborate patterns and and kind of watched uh, watch them as they fall in sequence. It's a lot of fun. It's time consuming, but it's a lot of fun. <clears throat> and I think life a lot is this way. There are certain things that have to be done in order. 
right? We have to buy the groceries before we can make the meal. <laughs> we have to, you know, do certain things just in specific orders. And sometimes life can get pretty complicated. I don't know if you guys have seen these machines or these, you know, fun series of uh, tasks just to do something simple. Like this picture here is a boxing glove hitting a bowling ball, bowling pin. Looks like there's a bird involved, <laughs> some books and pulleys and levers, all to turn on a light bulb, right? I know during quarantine, a lot of people were doing these just to pass the time. There's some awesome videos, and I think you should look them up because these elaborate things just kind of show that one thing has to happen first in order for something else to fall into place. Now, what happens? if I remove one of the dominoes in the chain? What would happen if I, you know, took that bowling pin out? Any ideas? Yeah, it kind of looks like this. If we remove one piece of this intricate system that kind of makes life work, uh, kind of, you know, makes what we're trying to accomplish successful, then progress just kind of stops, right? And we and we can't move on. Uh, and that's really what punctuality a lot of times is about. It's how do I value my coworkers? Let me just go back really quick and let's look at these people. If I value my coworkers, which I absolutely do, ACE has a phenomenal group of people working, but I need to make sure that what I am doing and my tasks um, are done and complete on time so that I don't interrupt their lives, right? So I don't create a stumbling block for them to accomplish what they need to. It's the same way in family. It's the same way with our friends. We really rely on other people to keep their word and do what they say they're going to do, right? Uh, let me get back to my next slide here going forward, because when I think about life in general, it's not as simple as this one line of dominoes, right? Most of our lives look something like this. <laughs> I know this is very much the way my, lo my life looks like. Uh, so, you know, each color could represent a different aspect of my life. I've got my family life, which could be the red. I've got school life, which could be yellow. I've got my friends, which could be the green. And the last thing that I would want to do, knowing that most people's lives look this way, the last thing I would want to do is to create a stopping point from set for somebody. Because quite honestly, I don't know how my task might interrupt other things in their lives. I don't always know what everybody else has going on in their personal friends and family lives. But if I can make sure that I am completing my tasks on time so that I don't create a stumbling block, then that is showing how much I truly value the other person. It's true in our schoolwork. It's true in our family lives. It is pretty much true in every aspect that we have. So it's something that I want you to think about, that it's not just about our own personal success that makes punctuality so important but it is about how can I contribute to the success of those in my life that I really care about and realizing I actually do have an impact on their ability to create success, okay? Food for thought for this week. Let's move on to some announcements. Uh, so break week is coming up. Like I said, we are starting week three. So we do the three weeks on, one week off schedule. And I totally agree with what Mrs. Sano put in this slide. It is brilliant. I love off weeks. Um, and we have this for you know several different reasons, but one of the biggest ones is because we know you guys work hard and so we want to give you a break. Right. And it is tr truly intended to be that way. There are a couple of ways that I know families um, handle off weeks. Some of them say, well, we're going to push through week three, just like we do weeks one and two. So then we truly have a week off where we can play and focus on other things. Other families will say, well, those assignments that are due week three, are due week four, which is actually two weeks away. So they do school work and they pace it out over two weeks. Either is fine as long as things get done uh, by week four when we come back to school. That's a personal choice for your family. 
But parents, here's a pro tip for you for um, ACE families who have been around for quite some time. Try to schedule things like dentist appointments and doctor's appointments and all of those things during that off week, right? Because then it doesn't nearly interrupt a school schedule um, or any progress that you're making uh, with schoolwork as it would weeks one, two, and three. So all of those kinds of appointments, that is absolutely what off week is for, for our, for us parents is to schedule those business kind of meetings during office hours. So pro tip there, let's move on. Family connection, uh, Mrs. Sano and I were on uh, this morning, I'm actually recording this on Wednesday. So we were on this morning, uh, visited with some families, but we would love to see you and have your questions answered. So we're holding two more in September, the 23rd and the 30th. Uh, there have been a lot of questions about SIF, and I think that's going to be the focus of Wednesday, the 23rd uh, meeting. So if you have questions about SIF, which are the supplement, supplemental instructional funds uh, and some changes that we've had this year, uh, please hop on. We would love to get those questions answered. The link is always sent out that morning. And it's always in your weekly email also. Okay, now we're gonna just rapid fire through some of some of these announcements because they've been in there the last couple of weeks. So just really quick reminders. Number one, HLAs are due Tuesday by noon. The office is open. You can either email those in. And I know um, some of the teachers are having fun with grading them online. We provided some tools for them. So they're having some fun with that and, and the things that they're able to do. Uh, you can mail, email, or drop them off at the ACE office. So make sure that they get in there by noon on Tuesdays. Weekly email, Mrs. Sano sends out those weekly emails every Thursday. Please make sure to forward those to your academic dean. That is one of your attendance check-ins, and we really need to make sure that those are happening. So just get in the habit when you see that, forward it to your academic dean, and say, got it, or thanks. That's what we need there. K through three is back on campus October 6th. We're so excited about this. So we are able to reopen kindergarten through third grade, uh, but please make sure that you are connecting with your academic dean, letting them know if you plan on being back on campus or if you would like to continue with distance learning so that they know how to plan for that. We do have a couple of weeks, but that planning time is critical. So please make sure that you're connecting with them on that. Uh, we are still in the hunt for an administrative assistant. Mrs. Sano and I were just talking about this this morning and what a blessing it would be if uh, there was somebody who was ready, willing, and able to kind of step into a bit of a role in the office. So if you know of anybody, please send their information our way. We would love to visit with them. Uh, book boxes, making sure that you're returning those, office hours. Uh, the office does not open until nine. I know oftentimes we are there before that trying to get our ducks in a row. So if you could be sure to show up um, nine or after, that would be greatly appreciated. And the door code is E20 star. Uh, last quick announcement is for those Chromebooks. So if you have any, uh, please send them our way, Bring the drop those off if it's not something that you need. Also, we absolutely need those zip numbers. I don't know how we're doing on retrieving those, um, but that is something that we do need. Okay, guys, that's all I have for you this week. Have a fantastic week three. Oh, let me get back to my screen here. There you are. Uh, so have a fantastic week three. Enjoy your break week, and I will see you week four when we tackle a new character trait. Have a blessed day, everybody.